Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to work on this lighthouse. I've got a design ready for it. I'm just going to plop it down and see how it does. I keep squatting. I was playing Slime Rancher over the weekend and that's the run. And now I keep squatting. Anyway, lighthouse in. I think I need to put a bit more ground down first. I need to probably bring it out onto this ledge. And then after that, lighthouse on top. I think I'm just going to get straight on with it. Don't think I've got any housekeeping to update you with. Just some dirt, just some stone, just some cobble. Yeah, just get on with it. Okay, that's the platform in. It needs a bit more decoration, but I'll do it once the lighthouse is actually on there. But as you can see, because it's crept into the river so much, I'm probably going to have to widen this bit. Which I might do this episode. I may as well. I think I'm going to build the lighthouse first though, and then I can decide if I want to put any decoration on this side. Might be nice to cut it a little bit, and then shore it up. And maybe put some of that shoring around here, so it's a little bit like the walls over there. I also really need to do something about that. I know the obvious solution is to do a hot air balloon, but I do feel like a hot air balloon doesn't fit what's going on here. These are very much still seafarers and miners and workers. I don't really know that they're into the whole hot air balloon technology yet. I would also quite like the uh, the different villages that I'm going to build in this world. I'd quite like them to have different feels, so it'd be nice to have one that is like aeronautical, that it's all hot air balloons and dirigibles and other fun stuff. So while this big settlement is all ships and boats and markets and some of the, the minecarts and the rails and stuff over in the mines, another one, another village somewhere could just be all in the sky, and that would be really nice. That is something I want to play with when I come to do the other settlements. This one's very flat, it's very sprawling, it's very through. You go through the mountains with the big tunnels and you go through the town on the paths. It would be nice to do one that's very vertical and it would be nice to do one that's maybe diagonal. Just playing around with all the different directions. Maybe one that's very spherical, one that's completely encased within a weird shape. Anything. I have quite a few ideas already, it's just which idea do I put into which biome to get the best results. I kind of forget how big this town is getting. Look, it's all the way over to the mines. You can't even see it in that direction. All the way to the bridge there. It's actually really big. Sprawling, I suppose, is the word, because obviously a lot of this isn't built on yet. Anyway, lighthouse. I'm getting distracted again. Mm, I'm going to need to get some more mangrove soon. I think I'm OK for now, but soon. I think that's everything I need. Build. have a lighthouse. I have, for now, kept it quite overgrown because I like that. It might get changed. I might pull some of this back at some point as the village grows around it. I don't know that it needs to be quite this overgrown, but I like it. It's cute. Inside's very simple. There's a bed so somebody can keep the place and there's just lots of benches with views out the windows so people can come and write maybe, maybe paint, whatever. There's just another little area here. Not much to be said. Gotta go up the dodgy bit of... Um, bit of ladders there. And then at the top we've got an awful lot of bonfires that's giving us the light hung from chains and all the smoke's going out the top. I did for a while think about doing redstone lights because I it's like one of the few things I know how to do is to do chasing lights. I just felt like it didn't fit. It didn't fit with what was going on here. I think the redstone lamps stood out way too much. And we've already got towers that have got campfires in the top so it continues a theme. I feel like it fits and makes sense. I was saying about doing different builds and having maybe like a vertical build and that sort of stuff earlier. I actually would like to do somewhere that's got a lot more redstone. Because I don't do redstone, I don't understand it. What I'm learning, little by little, it's very baffling. Around the side we've got a load of logs again. They can become more firewood when needed. And then it's just onto the riverfront. 
which I've kept a little messier. This side's not as tended to. But now I think I need to clear this part of the river, maybe find some way of shoring it up, even if it's just with a little bit of wood, and then uh, that should be that, really. This is just a bit narrow. If we look at it from the sky, I don't really think a mast would get through there comfortably. I think this just needs to clip out a little bit. So yeah, I think I'll do that. Got some shulkers to fill up with an awful lot of dirt. So where do I want to go from? I think I probably want to follow a line about here. I'm going to have to take a couple of trees down. Follow this a little. Cuts out a bit much there, but I think I'd rather have a couple of wide areas. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. I can also keep a nice cliff area here. I might level this top bit out a little to meet this cut. I might pull it a little more here. Just for this bit. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, dig it out. My poor shovel. My poor shovel. Here we are, 30 seconds later, it is no longer on the brink of breaking. But that is, that bit of river now widened, and it's got some shoring, so that it looks, again, like it was intended to be like that. I haven't put any this side, because I think it will just fill the river up too much. And I've also put a little platform here, which for some reason is missing a spruce. Oh well, it's missing a spruce leggy. I have to go back and get a square. Got a little, um, a little dock here, because there's another village just this way. This is the, the village that I first ever started in, when I spawned up on the hill. You can't really see it, you just catch glimpses of it, but it's just through there. So I've put the little dock here, so they can cut across if needed. And there is a little wig well, the beginnings of a little wiggly path that just comes up to here, and then it just, it just fades out. I'm not going to run the path all the way to the village, because I don't really intend to do anything with that village, or at least not yet. Maybe one day, but I have no plans for it. Maybe we'll end up expanding that far. But with that done, I now need to go lay out the paths for the rest of the town. I'm just going to slap the dirt like this and get some dirt paths. And we'll decide where the rest of the town layout is going. I want to bring some paths around here so it can join up. I'm probably not going to put actual paths in with the mud bricks and stuff because I don't know where the buildings are going. I'm just going to put a rough guide in, probably just pillar up a little bit with some dirt, make some dirt steps. Fill in some of the water holes here. I might shift out some of this sand because I don't need it. Yeah, just a little tidy up job. I like the lighthouse from the main gate because it's quite tall, it stands out, and it's in render distance. But this thing on the horizon is just still taller and still a bit more imposing. I quite like that contrast. Helps make the uh, makes the town feel really big. Because that looks pretty far away, but then there's that as well. Ooh, block. Ta-da. Dig up some sand. And fill in some ponds. Do I want to take some of these trees down? I could do to figure out where the main path is going. Do I just take the whole lot? Because it's going to need doing at some point. Have a look from up here. Ugh, I might just take the whole lot, you know. I might just kind of cut diagonally from there. And then take everything that's in that bit. I will get on that. I'm up here on top of my lighthouse and down there is now a nice empty patch. I've kept a couple of trees around the back of these houses and I have kept this one tree because I'll just build around it for now because I do like those oak trees that are the, the bigger moss sprawling ones but that one's not particularly exciting. But yes, let's go put some paths in, decide where they're going. So definitely put something over here. This one's quite simple. To curve it back around the river because then I can put something here. Yeah, we'll have it curved back around again. There we go. And we'll put some dirt blocks in. Beep boop. Ta-da. So I can put a little something in here. That'll probably just be like a garden. There'll maybe be a house here and maybe a garden. And it might be slightly raised. It might be down there. Who knows? Not me. I don't know anything. Okay. Simple pimple. And it will join back up here. I definitely need to get some more lighting in. I need to set up my frog light farm. That's what I need to do. Because I was being very silly and thinking that I would need to set it up in the actual nether. 
I come out my portal and I go left and there's a bit of the basalt delta or whatever it is that you need to build it in with the uh, the magma cubes. But actually I can do it on the roof, can't I? I saw that recently, I can't remember whose video it was. Somebody else had one. And it was on the nether roof, and that's going to be a lifesaver because that means I'm not going to be attacked by ghasts 24-7 when I'm setting it up. So I need to get on with that because I do want to use frog lights. Now I think I want to figure out where the central path is going. Okay, I'll just spam dirt everywhere apparently. So it will definitely come out the middle. I'll probably go straight for a while because it'll probably go at this height between some buildings. Then I think I'd like it to curve a little bit. Maybe go over here. Buildings won't be on ground level here, they will be slightly elevated. Some things might be only two blocks high off the ground and some things might be more like five or six. I wouldn't mind some that are actually quite tall and maybe hanging out over the river a little bit. And keep going. Okay, so maybe I do actually want to come around. No, where will this go? Ooh. Oh, I can just get rid of this wheat field. Okay, no, that makes sense. That's fine. I'll just do that. Okay, scrap these. Okay, go to about there. Fill this back in. Go to bed. Okay, so where did I say? Which level is the field on? I quite like that dip, actually. I quite like the fact that it drops down a bit here. Need to fill this in. Okay, don't need to dig up the field just yet, but if it comes around here, excuse me, and then around the edge of the town, since that would still be the river, this might get filled in a little bit because there is quite a big gap there, so it might get filled in, we'll see. You'd also get a bit more of a rivet. I might have to move that one tree, those two trees. Yeah, they're right in the way, aren't they? Anyway, so remove those two trees, and then you'd get a lovely view as you're coming round, and then have it loop into the main path here, yes. Open this wall up and put the main path sweeping through there. Got this little one that cuts through here, but this isn't really this isn't really good for taking, you know, carts of stuff through to the storage room. And it can come through other housing, it can maybe wiggle this way a little bit. I'm gonna take the torches out of my hand since I keep placing them. Yeah, maybe have it join this way as well. To wrap round to here. To the tower. Ooh, that looks nice. I like that. I like how it's um, made this little pocket in the middle. We can maybe have a few more houses that are like this and then maybe have them get bigger and bigger as they come towards the town. And then we'll have the big ones, like the uh, the inns and the taverns and stuff around here, so there'll be bigger buildings. And then maybe around here, maybe start to go to farm buildings since we've got the uh, the cows and the sheep and the pigs and stuff over there. And obviously as we get the houses and buildings in and we start to have little patches, I'll plant more trees and things. It's just a shame that you have to make it so bare for now. And it's probably going to be bare for a while. Oh, look how far away we are. It's all lost in the fog. Ah, there's the village. You can just see it. So there's the little dock. And there's a path cutting through. One day maybe we will add that village, since it's already there. It's already got stuff there. There's already villages there, so we'll see. But I think, for now, because this is done, I might go set up my beacon in the mines. And then we can do some mine exploration, because there is a mine shaft down there. We didn't go very far. So it might be worthwhile going to check that out. I go weeks at a time without ever coming to the mines and then it just... I forget how big it is. I forget how much is here. Can I just go here? Yes, I can. Okay, so where is the mine shaft? There it is. Okay, I'll miss that entirely. That seems reasonable. I will just set my spawn here just in case I get blown up. I'll dig out the hole first and then I'll come back and put the beacon in it because I don't want to accidentally drop myself with a beacon on me into lava because there is lava down here. Oh, hello. I'll maybe open that up and it can look all pretty. A little bit of natural free decoration. And since I've got a farm for the basalt now, I don't need to harvest any of this. I just need to find somewhere that's got calcite because I keep running out of that. I've still got a bit to go now, but it's not going to last forever. Eek, eek, eek. Thank you. Ooh, eek. Okay, can't go any further that way. I think it needs to be wider that way, or maybe this way. I think I might just go this way, this will be easier. Get to see more of the geode. Enderman. Yeah, now I've just realised that if I do this, I've got nowhere to put the water. So I'm probably going to have to put the water in and leave a hole for the light to go up and for me to drop into. So I'll put the water here, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making this up as I go along. It's just for today. I'll tidy up this properly and make it a proper designed area at some point. Okay, so that's where I shall fall. I'll block this up so nothing comes to kill me. That's going to be the middle, which is fine for now, but I need to go get some wood to make a sign, unless there's a sign up here. 
Well, this spares me four rockets, so I'm happy to just nyaum up a rock. Take it, I don't have any wood stored in here anywhere. No, okay. Oh, it's a good thing I've got this tunnel. I have one birch sign. You know what? I'm going to treat myself and fly back. If you get the angle right, you can do it on a single rocket, but that was not the correct angle. Oh, gosh, why? What is your problem? Where have you gone? Okay, can I now drop through here? Yes, I can. Now what? <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this Enderman coming for me. Where have you gone? Are you okay? So, where's the, the middle point? Do we have four layers for a beacon? I'll build it around that. Hope you're enjoying this Enderman ASMR. Some nice Enderman screams to relax to. I also hope you're appreciating how absolutely terribly I have built this thing. What a ridiculous order I have built it in. And how weirdly off-centre it is to the room. I hope you're all thoroughly enjoying that. I hope this is the content you came for. Enderman screams and misaligned beacons. Oop. Come on, let me choose. Let me choose. Hello? Okay. What have I done wrong? Why is it protesting? I'm so confused. The screaming Enderman isn't helping. Hello, bat. Adorable. Oh, there you are. Thank you. As far as I can tell, that is a clear view all the way up, except maybe that one beam. But I thought it just made the light beam until it hit the block. Apparently I am wrong about that. So that is still there, and it hasn't activated a beam, so it must be something higher up. I can see all the way down to it, which makes me think that it's not being... Oh, maybe here. Is it this one? Ah, it might be these two. Okay. Well, for now. Bye. I'll just pop these off. Oops, I'll just fall to my doom. Just take those off as well. There we go. Okay, so it was just that there was no light. Oh, I need to fly, I need to fly. So that I can land in water. Just about. So it's all good and clunky, but there we go. So just out of curiosity, does water stop it? No, it's quite happy to be flooded. Okay. Although it is a bit annoying in here, isn't it? Anyway, that will do for now. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt getting in and out of it. Wow, it really doesn't even do anything, does it? That was worthwhile. Okay, I've come back up to my bed. I'm going to go look around the mineshaft set. Okay. My bright eyes... What was that? My bright eyes have seen danger, Bork. Horatio? It's been a while since we've seen Horatio. He's been uh, chilling out by the pond. Oh, he's here. Hello. What's wrong? What's up? Everything seems fine. Nothing seems to be in any danger or trouble. What's up? Oh. Go to the harbour, woof. Why? What's happening in the harbour? Okay. You come with me. Well, this is unusual. Things have been very peaceful for a while. I don't know why he's suddenly come to me now with warnings of danger. He spent so long sat down here. I mean, honestly, probably about ten weeks sat down here. Staring into the water. Why now has he suddenly sensed danger? Come on, out you come. Come on. Very cute. Okay, we'll take the proper path to the harbour. You coming? Good lad. Everything seems okay so far. Seems fine. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's going on here? Is this what you meant? Yes, you can have a stick. Good boy. What's going on here? I don't think these are my villagers. I think these are uh, from that other village. Yeah, okay, you go sit on that island. You sit there and enjoy some berries. I'm going to go check this out. What are these guys doing here? Oh, they've made a path and it's on fire. Why is it on fire? What has happened? Okay, there's a huge hole. Ouch. Don't fall in the lava. Oh. Okay. I can see why they might have left. This is troubling and quite familiar. I think we've seen this kind of... Oh, that's lava. I think we've seen this kind of damage and burning before. Hmm. This is a problem. We need to go check on that dragon. We need to go check 
on the burrowing worm. And it's gone. Um. Okay. I mean, it's not okay. Where has it gone? It doesn't seem to have come out this way. Because there's no more damage. There always were some holes. Where is it gone? So it seems like we're going to have some new additions to the village. Are you my old mending guy? You are. You're my old mending guy. Hi. Well, better just take them over. They can get themselves all safe in the houses. There's plenty to go around. Oh, he seemed to like that. He had some green particles. They're in. They are settled. They're mostly just milling around in the woods. To each their own. Oh, but of course they're going to follow the usual path and get stuck in the river. I still need to put a little bridge here. They should be able to settle down and be safe here a little bit, hopefully. And at least not on fire. But if this burrowing worm can burrow that quickly, it does mean that our previous plans of the river really aren't going to work, because it's just going to tunnel straight under it. I was going to clear out the river more, make it nice and deep, because this is a fiery wormy dragon thing and it doesn't want to get wet. See how much lava and stuff it leaves around? And I thought by widening this bit of the river, it wouldn't be as tempted to cross. But if it's just going under, then river and walls doesn't really bear any purpose. So we're going to have to go back to the original plan of trying to lure in the Amethyst Drake. Because that's probably going to be the only thing that keeps it away. For newcomers, burrowing worm bad. It wants to steal all your gems and your gold and your crystals and it might eat your people. You know, usual stuff. Amethyst Drake, quite good. Mostly just docile and sits around, but it's big and scary and it scares off the other one. So we want to try and lure the Amethyst Drake in by having big pretty amethysts for it to sit on? Eat? I don't know what it does with them. If that burrowing worm is on the move, then it might come here sooner rather than later. It seemed to be asleep for so long and now it's just whoop, gone. And who knows where it is? Come on, you. I want to know how you figured all this out. Surely you didn't just hear it. I mean, I suppose it is quite close. You maybe did just hear it. You have been sat in here all this time. The water? You saw it in the water. Okay. That's handy. What else can you see? Yeah, have a think. So you need a bit more time? Okay. Take as well, I was going to say take as long as you need, but there is there is a deadline. If you can be punctual, that would be ideal. Well, this has all been very troubling. I just wanted to go mining, but no, apparently not. Apparently, the underground is no longer safe. It could be down there, couldn't it? It could be in the mines, noodling around. But on this dramatic ending, I think we will leave it here for now, and we'll have to come back to this next week, where we'll make some more plans towards trying to get that Amethyst Drake to turn up. We need some answers, Horatio. But, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you again next week, if we're still here and not on fire, which we might be. Bye-bye for now. I hope we're not on fire. You don't see any fire, do you? Uh-oh, he's not answering. Hmm.